How do I force Windows to reinstall a driver? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com where I've been reinstalling drivers since 2003. Actually, I've been answering questions since then. I've probably been reinstalling drivers much, much longer than that. So every once in a while, we run into situations where drivers get confused, Windows gets confused, something gets confused. And as part of the diagnostic process, what we'd really like to do is basically force Windows to reinstall a driver from scratch. As it turns out, it's not obvious how you do it, but it turns out it's also very easy. Let me show you how. Before we get started, though, I do want to point out that, you know, we're playing with drivers. We're doing things with your system. One of the things you should start with, and you see this coming, is you should back up your system first. Nothing should go wrong. But let's face it, nothing should ever go wrong. And yet things do go wrong. With a full image backup of your machine before you even start playing with it, you'll have some place you can go back to should the worst happen. So with that out of the way, let me show you how to reinstall the driver. There are a couple of ways to run the utility that we want. If you're running something before uh, Windows 10, you can run compmgmt.msc. Uh, it's computer management. It's the computer management console. It may look familiar to you once it comes up here. And then right there, you'll see device manager and that will look familiar in just a second. If you're running in Windows 10, you can simply right click on the start menu and click on device manager. That basically brings up only the device manager in a user interface that you're probably somewhat already familiar with. So what this lists are all of the hardware devices on your system. I'm going to go down here to USB controllers, since that's a uh, uh, one of the candidates for doing this that will not probably cause too much trouble. So we'll take a look at this USB 3.0 extensible host controller. We'll right click on it. We will uninstall device. We'll say yes, we're going to uninstall it. And the device is uninstalled. And in fact, you can see the entire USB node here went away. So now, theoretically, USB isn't working in this system because the hardware has no drivers. Right click on any of these and click on scan for hardware changes. Windows will go through and identify the hardware that it recognizes and load drivers for any that don't have drivers currently loaded. In other words, it's forcing Windows to reinstall the driver. Now, I do want to point out here that exactly what happens on your system will vary depending on what device you've chosen and where the drivers actually come from to begin with. In this case, the driver is actually a native part of Windows. It comes with Windows and Windows went and fetched it from a backup copy or from its recovery media partition, wherever Windows got it and got it quickly and immediately. You may be requested to provide installation media. You may be requested to point to the folder containing the drivers that you've downloaded from elsewhere. In either case, you'll want to be prepared for that so that you can, in fact, provide the proper drivers for the system. Let's do this one more time and I'll show you a different kind of behavior. One of the items that comes up often actually are video drivers. So we'll take a quick look at display adapters. When we talk about video drivers, that's usually what we're talking about. Now, in this case, we've got something called VirtualBox Graphics Adapter. You would probably normally see something on the order of uh, the hardware that you have installed on your machine. Obviously, I'm running in a virtual machine, and this display adapter that's present is something that's provided by the VirtualBox software. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. I'm going to uninstall that device. And I'm actually going to delete the driver software for this device. Now you can see that my screen resolution changed and that's because the driver for my video has been removed. Windows actually defaults back to one of its internal drivers that actually doesn't know all the details of all the different things that this particular interface can do. Once again, we will scan for hardware changes. 
and we can see then that display adapters, Microsoft basic display adapter did not get replaced with the display adapter or the driver we had before. In this case, you might need to manually install the new drivers that you've gotten from wherever you've received them. In my case, it's software that I would run from VirtualBox that will cause its display adapters to be reinstalled. But that's the bottom line. If you are faced with a situation where it's been suggested that you uninstall and reinstall the device drivers for a particular piece of hardware, this is the quick and easy way to do it. I hope that was helpful. As always, if you have any questions and for related links, for comments, for updates, visit askleo.com slash 4926. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.